one of the presidents, famous president of the Bricklayers Union, Harry Bates. Did anybody ever know him here? Some of the older fellows might have known him. He was president for about 25 years. And uh, he's gone now, but he was an old bricklayer. He's, you know how he became a bricklayer? He was working down in Texas where he came from as a clerk in a store. That was considered pretty good, you know. He was a clerk in a store. He wore a white shirt. He said, yes, sir, no, sir. You know, clean, nice, clean job, except you got some flour on you once in a while. <laughs> and uh, one of his buddies came by. He said, what you doing? He says, oh, I'm working as a bricklayer. Yeah? He says, you make good money? Yeah, I make about 20 bucks a week. This is, you know, a long time ago early 1900s. Harry Bates says, my God, he was making $10 a month. So you know what he did? He became a bricklayer. <laughs> he not only became a bricklayer, but he became a good bricklayer, and he became a strong union man, and he became very much interested in the craft, you know, the craft of bricklaying. You know, there's a story they tell up in New York, they're building these big buildings, and some of you may come from, how many here from New York here? Build the, the, a brick or marble. There's a lot of buildings. A lot of times you're working on a building right next door. There's a building just been finished, big office building. And uh, this guy's putting bricks up on a 16th floor there. You know how hot it's been lately? 95 degrees. He's really sweating up a storm, you know. And this building, a nice air-conditioned building, one of the clerks there, one of the office guys there is picking up papers, and he looks, he sees this bricklayer sweating. He figures he'll needle him a little bit, you know. He puts up a sign, he says, it's 68 degrees in here. Boy, the bricklayer pulls out a piece of paper, attaches it to his lunchbox, and says it's $15 an hour out here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I got the rate for New York. If I, if I cut it lower than it should, let me know. <laughs> Harry Bates wrote a book about the bricklayers' union. It's about that thick, and I read the whole thing. The most interesting part of the book is in the beginning, George Meany, president of the AFL, was a plumber, has a little introduction where he tells about how he was in England at an international labor meeting, and Harry Bates was one of the delegates, and they were staying at this old, famous old hotel, the Claridge Hotel, and he comes out of the hotel to catch a cab or something, and there's Harry Bates. What's he doing? He's looking at the bricks in this old hotel. He's probably the only guy who ever stayed at that hotel. He's looking at the bricks. He says, George, I want you to come over here. I want you to take a look at these bricks. He says, that's a buttered brick. George says, what's that? Buttered brick. He says, that's hard to do, very, very skilled. He says, I mean, he says, there's a man that's proud of his craft. We got to be proud of our craft and build our union. I got a song about that. It's called, I'm a brick laying, stone cutting, tile laying, <laughs> setting. <laughs> got a lot of different jobs in this union. I don't want to leave anybody out. Somebody told me I left out a tuck pointer. I don't know about that. But if I leave anybody out, please come up to me and I'll include a special verse for you, okay? <laughs> As I wander around, I think about the rugged life I've led. I look back with pride at the work I've done to earn my daily bread. Banker measures wealth in gold. While others fight for fame But my most precious asset is my craft My craft and my good name I've laid that brick, I've cut that stone Built a hundred thousand homes I've built that school, I've built that factory That building climbing towards the sky Hey, I built it 40 stories high. I'm a brick laying, stone cutting, tile setting, working man, that's me. My trade is masonry. My union's the BAC. Well, I've laid brick and stone in every state. I've worked most everywhere. From Florida to the great Northwest, you bet that I was there. My voice is gruff, my hands are rough. The dust is on my shoes. I wear my union button, got no time, no time to sing the blues. I've laid that brick, I've cut that stone, built a hundred thousand homes, built that school, built that factory, that building climbing towards the sky. Hey, I built it 40 stories high, I'm a brick laying. Stone cutting, tile setting, 
working man, that's me. My trade is masonry. My union's the BAC. Now when they laid the bricks on the pyramids, my great-grandpa was there. That's right. My ancestors built a Chinese wall in weather foul and fair. And if you want to know why the Tower of Pisa leans all the way on its side, it was a non-union job they couldn't get it straight no matter how hard they tried. Well, I've laid that brick, cut that stone, built a hundred thousand homes, built that school, built that factory. That building climbing towards the sky. Hey, I built it 40 stories high. I'm a bricklayer, stone cut, tile set, tuck pointer. Union man, that's me. My trade is masonry. My union's the BAC.